Let's take a look at an example where we use our rules for geometry to prove a relationship in a rider. In parallelogram ABCD, so we know that ABCD is a parallelogram, the bisectors, we know that a bisector is a line that cuts either another line or an angle in half, and they are telling you here that these are the bisectors of the angles. And what we know about a bisector is that it cuts the two things into two equal parts, okay? So the bisectors of the angles have been constructed. You are also given AB equals to CD, AD equals to BC, which we know because they've told us that this thing is a parallelogram, so we would know that those two sides, the opposite sides, are equal, and we would know that the opposite pairs of sides are parallel. The other property of a parallelogram is that the opposite angles are equal. So the whole of A will be equal to the whole of C, and the whole of B will be equal to the whole of D. And they have also constructed the bisector, so we know that the two sides of that angle are equal, the two sides there are equal, those two are equal, and those two are equal. I'd like you to pause the video and to prove that P, that MNOP is also a parallelogram, okay? So please pause the video and try that on your own. All right, now when we're trying to prove a parallelogram, there are a number of ways that we can actually prove it. So one of the ways is to prove that both pairs of opposite sides are equal, or that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, okay? So both pairs opposite sides parallel. You could also prove that one pair of opposite sides are both equal and parallel, or you could prove that both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Okay, so those are some options of how you can go about proving that something is a parallelogram. And if you have a look at the given information in this question, we weren't given much information about the sides, the length of the sides, but we were given a lot of information about the angles, okay? We were told that we've given bisectors, we can see that we've got relationships between angles. So the only two options here that we could then use, just given angles, is to either prove that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, or to prove that both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Okay, so we've just got an enlarged version of this picture here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is where I've been given lots of angles that are the same, I like to call them a variable because it just makes it easier to refer to them as I'm doing my calculation. So I'm going to let A1, A2, C1, and C2 all be equal to X. Okay, so A1 is equal to A2 is equal to C1 is equal to C2. That information was all given and we are just going to make it equal to x. And now, I'm going to let b1, b2, d1, and d2 be equal to y. So let b1 equal to b2 equal to d1 equal to d2 equal to y. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we've numbered those, or given those variable names, it's much easier to refer to them. Okay, and we're going to try and see if we can prove that both pairs of the opposite angles in MNOP are equal. So in other words, we want to try and prove that M2 is equal to O2, and we want to try and prove that N2 is equal to P2. Okay, now, if we have a look at M1, if I draw the triangle there with M1, we can see that M1 is the exterior angle of that triangle, okay? So M1 will be equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles, because that is the rule for the exterior angles of triangle, and the reason is it's the exterior angle of the triangle, okay? Now, M1 and M2 are vertically opposite angles, so that means that M2 will also be equal to X plus Y, because they are vertically opposite angles. If we now take a look at O2, if I just highlight this triangle here, you can see that O2 is also equal to X plus Y because O2 is also the exterior angle of a triangle. So O2 is also equal to X plus Y. And that is because of exterior angle of triangle. So what we have just proven is that M2 is in fact equal to O2. 
Okay, now we also need to prove that N2 is equal to P2. Right, so if we highlight this triangle over here, we can see that N2 is also equal to X plus Y because of exterior angle of triangle. Okay, so N2 is equal to X plus Y. And if we want to say something about P2, if we look in this triangle over here, we can see that P2 is also equal to X plus Y. And again, it's because of an exterior angle of a triangle. So therefore, N2 is also equal to P2. So what we have actually proven is that both pairs of opposite sides of this shape are in fact equal. In fact, all four of them are equal, which m means that it's not only just a parallelogram, but it'll actually in fact be a rectangle because all four angles will be exactly the same size. But at a very minimum, the shape is in fact a parallelogram. So M N O P is a palm. And the reason it is a palm is because both pairs of opposite angles are equal.